for today is about finding the end term of a given geometric sequence. The formula for us to find the end term of the geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the n term or the last term, then n is the number of terms involved in the given sequence, a sub 1 is your first term, and r is the common ratio. So, ito lang yung tatandaan nating formula para makuha natin si n term of geometric sequence. Let us have an example. Example number 1. Find the fifth term of the geometric sequence 3, 9, 27, and so on and so forth. So, we are going to find for the fifth term of this geometric sequence. So, how will you find for the fifth term? So, dito, since fifth term lang naman, pwede mo itong gamitan ng mano-mano. Okay? So, kapag mano-mano ang ginawa mo sa fifth term dito, ganito lang yan, kasimple. So, you have here 3, 9, and then 27, then blank and blank. Kasi pang lima. So, this is your answer, pang fifth term. So, we are going to find for the common ratio. So, for us to find the common ratio, i-divide mo lang si 9 divided by 3. The answer is 3. So, that's the common ratio multiplied by 3 lang. So, 3 times 3, the answer is 9. 9 times 3, the answer is 27. 27 times 3, the answer is 81. 81 times 3, we have here 243. So, that would be the fifth term. So, meron na tayong sagot. So, what if ang gagamitin mo naman is by using your formula? So, let us use your formula. So, you have here a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Let us have the given first. Your first term. What is the first term in your given? So, the first term we have here, 3. Your common ratio, we have here, 3. That's the common ratio. If you divide 9 to 3, the answer is 3. 27 divide 9, the answer is 3. That's the common ratio. Then, how many numbers of terms are involved? The number of terms involved is 5. Kasi fifth term lang naman yung nahanap natin. So, your n is equals to 5. Then, let us substitute. So, you are going to find for a sub 5. So, that is the fifth term. Your a sub 1, we have here 3. Then, your r, we have here 3. Then, your n is 5 minus 1. Then, close parenthesis. So, it is equal to, so, wag nyo muna i-multiply. So, ang sisimplify pa nyo muna yung exponent. So, just copy 3. Then, this one is 3. 5 minus 1, we have 4. So, it is equal to 3 times 3 raised to 4. 3 raised to 4 meaning 3 times 3, we have here um, 9. 9 times 3, we have 27. 27 times 3, the answer is 81. 81. Then, you will multiply 3 times 81. So, therefore, your fifth term is 243. We're done. So, that is it. So, kung nakalimutan nyo si formula, di magmano-mano kayo ng mag-multiply lang kayo ng mag-multiply. But, so, kapag ang given mo, halimbawa 10 term to, 10 term, so, wala lang mag-multiply ka na mag-multiply ng kirami-rami. So, pwede mo naman ang gamitin si formula mo. So, it's your choice pa rin. So, tinuro ko sa inyo yung way ng mano-mano and then the way no sa um, using formula. So, let us have another example. Number 2. Find the ninth term of the geometric sequence 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on and so forth. So, pang ninth term yung ating hinahanap. Let us have the formula. So, given muna tayo. So, you're given here. The first term is 8. That's your first term. Then, your common ratio. For us to find the common ratio, we are going to find the divide here. So, we have 4 over 8. The answer is 1 half. Diba? 1 divided by 2, the answer is 1 half. So, your common ratio is 1 half. That is it. Then, the number of terms involved. So, we have here 9. Kasi, 9 term lang naman ang hinahanap natin. Afterwards, let us have your formula. A sub n is equals to A sub 1. Then, R raised to n minus 1. We are going to substitute. A sub, your n is 9. Just change. Equals. Your first term, we have your 8. Now, lagi ka open and close parenthesis kasi multiplication na itong dalawang na to eh. Then, open ulit. What is your R? 
You have here 1 half. Raise 2. Ang n natin is 9. 9 minus 1. Then close parenthesis tayo. Then it is equal. So ito muna yung ating isi-simplify. This one just copy. Then we have here 1 half. Raise 2. 9 minus 1. We have here 8. So, afterwards, wag mo nang mag-multiply. Ito mo nang may exponent ang inyong isi-simplify. So, it is equal to, just copy 8 again. If you are going to multiply fraction, meaning, ang ibig sabihin nito is 1 raised to 8 over 2 raised to 8. Kapag ganyan, kapag fraction ha. So, then, simplify further, it is equal to 8 times 1 raised to 8, we have here 1 pa din. Hindi po 8 ha. 1 raised to 8 meaning 1 times 1 times 1. Walong 1 times yun. Over 2 raised to 8. 2 raised to 8 is 2 times 2, 4 times 2. We have here 8 times 2. We have 16 times 2, 32. 32 times 2, 64. 64 times 2, we have 128. 128 times 2, we have 256. So that is 1 over 256. That is it. Afterwards, you are going to simplify this. Okay? Simplify natin. So, over 1 yan. So, magiging siyang 8 times 1. Tagay natin sa taas. So, uh, a sub 9 is equal to 8 over 256. Just multiply. 8 times 1, then 1. Then, 8 and 256 is divisible by 8. So, cancelled out 8, magiging 1. Si 256 Divided by 8, the answer is 32. Therefore, a sub 9 is equal to 1 over 32. That is it. We're done. Ma'am, pwede po ba akong magmano-mano dito? Alright, so let us try mano-mano. So, you have here 8, 4, 2, 1. Then, dadagdagan lang natin. You will, we are going to multiply 1 to your common ratio. So, 1 times 1 half, the answer is... 1 half. Next, 1 half times 1 half, the answer is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 1 half, the answer is 1 over 8. 1 eighth times 1 half, the answer is 1 over 16. And 1 over 16 times 1 half, the answer is 1 over 32. Ayun, lumabas na si 1 over 32. Tingnan natin kung pang 9 term nga siya. Just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Correct. So, this is the 9 term. Right? So, it's your choice kung anong mas comfort, saan ka mas comfortable. Kung magmamano-mano ka ba or you may use our formula. Is it clear? So, let us have another examples. Number 3. We have here 120, 60, 30, find A sub 11. So, we have a given of geometric sequence dito, si 120, 60, and 30. So, we are going to find for the given. Let us have first the given. So, your first term here is 120. Let us have your common ratio. So, you are going to divide 60 over 120. So, the answer is 1 half. Okay. So, 1 half is our common ratio. And the number of terms involved is 11. Kasi A sub 11 yung hinahanap natin. Is it clear? So, let us have your formula that is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Then, just substitute. a sub, your n, we have here 11, is equal to your a sub 1, that is 120. Then, multiplied by your common ratio, which is 1 half. Then, your n is 11 minus 1. That is it. So, it is equal to 120 multiplied by 1 half raised to 11 minus 1. So, 11 minus 1, 11 minus 1, the answer is 10. Okay? Then, you are going to um, simplify 1 half raised to 10. So, 1 half raised to 10, we have 120 multiplied. 1 raised to 10 is 1 over 2 raised to 10. Ang 2 raised to 10 po is 1,024. So, if you multiply 2 to itself ng 10 beses, the answer is 1,024. Yan. And then, afterwards, you are going to simplify na. 
So, 120 times 1, that is 120 over 1024. Then, we are going to um, simplify it to, to lowest term. So, think a number that you can divide to 120 and 1024. So, they are divisible by 4. So, cancel natin kung divisible by 4. So, 120 divided by 4, the answer is 30. So, it becomes 30. Over 1024 divided by 4, the answer here is 256. So, pwede pa. Pwede pa ulit. Si 30 at saka si 256. So, they are divisible by 2. ba? So, ito magiging equal to 15. Kung divisible by 2, etong 256 becomes 128. So, 15 and 128, hindi na po pwede. So, therefore, this is already the lowest term. That is your A sub 11. Is it clear? So, that is how you are going to find for A sub 11 of this sequence. Alright? So, kung gusto mo magmano-mano ka, pwede rin naman. Okay? A sub 11. O, oh, medyo matagal-tagal ka lang lang mag-divide dito. 120, 60, 30. 30 times 1 half, 15. Then, magigitong 15 over 2. Times mo ulit sa 1 half, 15 over 4. Times ulit sa 1 half, 15 over 16. To not, ah, sorry. 8. So, not 15 over um, times 2 to 8 times 2, 16. So, not 15 times 32. Then, 15 ta over um, times 2, 64. Then, 15 over 128. Tingnan natin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is it. That is A sub 11. Diba? So, continuous multiplication lang sa inyong given for you to find the A sub 11 hanggang makarating ka ka 11 term. Alright? So, that is it. So, let us have another one. Number 4. Find the A term of the geometric sequence where first term is 4 and common ratio is negative 3. So, let us have the given first. So, your first term daw I see 4. Your common ratio, which is R, is negative 3. Then, what is your N? We have your 8. Kasi si 8 term yung hinahanap natin. So, your formula is A sub 1. Ah, sorry. A sub N is equals to A sub 1 times R raised to N. So, we have your A sub 8 is equal. Your first term, we have your 4. Open parenthesis. Open, close. Then, your R is negative 3 raised to N natin is 8 minus 1. So, it is equal to 4 times negative 3 raised to 7. So, ang negative 3 raised to 7, meaning yan, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, pitong beses. So, we have here 4 times. So, the answer here is negative 2, 1, 8, 7. Alright? After you have it, you are going to multiply it by 4. So, we have here a sub 8 is equal to a sub 8 is equal to negative 8,748. So, that is the product if you are going to multiply 4 times negative 2,187. That is it. So, this is now your 8th term. Is it clear? So, that is for number 4. Then, let us have the last example. This example, number 5. A sub 1 is equal to 5. R is equal to negative 2 third. Find A sub 5. So, we are already have your given. So, ang n natin is equal to 5. So, your formula is A sub n equals to A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. Then, just substitute A sub. We are going to find A sub 5 is equals your first term. We have your 5 times your R is negative 2 third times ang N mo is 5 minus 1. Then, we have here 5 multiplied by negative 2 third times 5 minus 1. That is 4. Then, we are going to simplify. 
So, meaning, negative. Since ito ay negative, magiging positive na to. Ah, sorry. Since ito ay even number, so, uh, apat na beses, so, therefore, apat na negative yan, magiging positive na yung sagot natin. Pero kung ito ay add, negative pa din. Alright? So, we have 2 raised to 4. So, meaning 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, the answer is 16. Over 3 raised to 4, meaning 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, the answer is 81. Then, just multiply. So, see, 16 and 81, not divisible na to each other, kaya no need to simplify. Over 1 to, then just multiply, 5 times 16. So, we have here, a sub 5 is equal to 5 times 16, the answer is um, 80. Over 1 times 81, 81. We're done. So, our fifth term is 80 over 81. Or if you want, just multiply it continuously. So, yun na yung magiging sagot niya. Is it clear? So, kung magmano-mano ka, we have 5. Tapos, the next one, just multiply it. The answer is negative 10 over 3. Then, times mo ulit. That is negat uh, positive 20 over 9. So, not we have here... 40, negative 40 over 27. Sunod, pag minultiply mo ulit, we have here positive 80 over 81. O, di ba? Pareha siya. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is your fifth term. Okay? We're, we're done. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this day. So, um, pag may tanong po, just comment your question in our comment box. And that's all. So, thank you for listening, guys. Bye-bye.